what is successive discount? Successive discount means giving more than one discount, one after another on a product. Each discount is applied on the price left after the previous discount. Let's understand this with the help of example. A shopkeeper gives 20% discount and then another 10% discount on a shirt whose price is 1000 rupees. So what a successive discount? We have the two discounts here, one after another. So this is the successive discount. Now, how to calculate this? For that, we'll not add 20 and 10 and we'll get 30% discount in total. It's wrong. So this doesn't mean that the total discount is 30%. It means the second discount that is 10% is given on the reduced price after 20% discount. Let's solve this example and understand this definition better. So the question we have already done, that is a shopkeeper gives 20% discount and then another 10% discount on a shirt whose marked price is given, that is 1000 rupees and we have to find the selling price. So we have 20% discount on the marked price, that is 1000 rupees. And 10% discount is not on this marked price. So let's calculate the first discount first. How much first discount we'll get? So for the first discount, 20% discount is on 1000. So 20% 20 of 1000. So 20 by 100 of instead of of will multiply. 20 by 100 multiply 1000. Let's do the cutting. Zero cancels. We are left with 20 multiplied 10 rupees 200. So the first discount is 200 rupees. Now let's find the selling price after the first discount. So if there will be only one discount, what we have to pay to get the shirt. So for that 1000 was the marked price. After 20% discount, we have 200 rupees. So 1000 minus 200, 800 rupees. Now, the second discount 10% will be applied on this selling price after discount, the reduced price which we get after the first discount. 10% the second discount will not be marked on this 1000 rupees. Remember this. So the second discount 10% of 800 rupees. So 10% 10 by 100 multiply 800 do the cutting and we are left with 80 multiply 8 that is 80 rupees. Therefore, let's find the final selling price after second discount. Now we have the second discount 800. Now finding the selling price, this time the discount, the selling price that is 800 minus 80, that will be rupees 720. So how we'll get it? Now this time this 800 is our marked price. So for second discount, we'll be using 800. So therefore, the answer is the final selling price of a shirt is 720 rupees. We have to pay just rupees 720 to get the shirt after two discounts. Uh, let's do another example. A laptop has three successive discounts. This time we have three discounts, 15%, 10% and 5%. If the marked price is 50,000 rupees, what is the selling price? So we have three discounts, worry not. We'll first find the first discount that is 15% of 50,000 because the marked price is 50,000. The first discount will be applied on the marked price. So let's calculate 15 by 100 multiply 50,000. Do the cutting. We are left with 15 multiply 500 and we'll get 7,500 rupees. Now selling price after the first discount. Do the subtraction part. 50,000 minus the discount that is 7,500. And we have the answer 42,500 rupees. Now we are done with the first discount. For the second discount, this 10% will be applied on this selling price. That is the reduced price we get after the first discount. So the second discount, 10% of rupees 42,500. Remember, this step is really important. We will not be finding the second discount on 50,000. Let's calculate this. 10 upon 100 multiply 42,500, do the cutting. Then we are left with 10 multiply 425 and the answer is 4,250. It's not the answer, it's just the second discount. Now we'll find the selling price after the second discount. So 
this time we'll be getting this 42,500 minus 4,250 the discount and we'll get the selling price is 38,250. So now you can see every time we'll be using the reduced price, not the marked price. That means the original price. So this for this third discount, we'll be using 38,250. So third discount, 5% of 38,250 rupees. So do the calculations, 5 by 100, multiply 38,250. We'll not do cutting here because we want the calculations easy. Just multiply 5, multiply 38,250. We'll get uh, 191250 upon 100. Now we can place the decimal before two digits. And we have our answer that is 1,912.50 rupees. So this is the third discount. So final selling price after third discount will be, will be subtracting 38,250 minus 1,912.50 rupees. So after subtraction, we get the selling price, which is this. So the selling price we'll get is 36,337.50 rupees. So it's very easy. Just remember the step. The first discount will be applied on the mark price. The second on the previous selling price will get after the discount and the third on the previous second discount that is a reduced price we'll get and we'll get our answer the final selling price do not do the addition in the successive discounts we'll find step by step so this exercise is for you to solve do some workout the marked price of a jacket is 1,500 rupees, two successive discounts are 10% and 5% are offered. What is the selling price? So find the first discount first, that is 10% of 1,500. Calculate it, then find the selling price, 1,500 minus that discount, which will come in rupees. Then 5% of the discount, the selling price, the reduced price you'll get after 10% and you'll get the sell, final selling price after that. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming videos. Bye-bye.